how do you change your game, or not, not necessarily change your game, but how do you prepare mentally or do things differently when you know you're going against <laughs> someone like Walker? I just can't take a playoff. I've been studying him a lot, um, and it's not one thing he does to get to the quarterback every time. He has a whole variety of moves and stuff he uses, so it's got to be focused every single play. And it's something that if uh, I know that if I have a good game against him, that will help me go down the road. But um, more importantly than that, we can't play we we'll get hit because he's had his issues and everything like that. So it's a challenge for me. I'm excited. Have you considered skipping this game to prepare for the NFL draft? Yeah, I've considered it, and uh, I think I'm going to think I'm gonna play. I think I need to. Considering I'm not going to be a first-round pick, I think it would be in my interest to play. Even if you were, uh, would it be hard for you to, to pass up uh, playing in a bowl game, your last game with these guys? Yeah, I, I understand where the, the, the different situations of the guys who decide not to play in it, but um, a little bit different for an offensive lineman. And plus, we got a chance to win 11 games, which is something that hasn't been done around here in a while. And uh, it's just kind of a special number that means that you've had better than a good season. So it would be very hard for me to do that, even if I were in first round talk. <laughs> That's something that Coach Arbo's harping on. Like, you guys have mentioned the, the 11th win, and that's a big deal. Is that the, the message coming down from the top, I guess? Is yeah. Right? I mean, last year going to a game with 10 wins is a, kind of the benchmark college football for a good season. And now we got opportunity. We're at 10 wins, and we got opportunity to get to 11, which is kind of the next step. So um, to finish the season 11-2, that would be a pretty impressive season. Um, so kind of the mindset of the whole building is get to 11. Uh, talked a lot with some of your teammates yesterday about some of the younger players and how they've looked in Christmas camp. Uh, what have you seen from some of the younger guys, and has anyone really stood out to you? Uh, everyone's just developing. Uh, it's a special time of year because the young guys get lots of reps. Um, Michael Wang is coming up huge. I mean, he already has so much potential and everything like that, but now that he's getting a little bit more focused individually from Coach Drevno and getting an opportunity to, to play a little bit more than he does during his season practice, he's looking good. But... Um, I would say all the young offensive linemen have, have stepped up and gotten better. How about on the defensive line where you're going to – there's going to be a lot of new guys there next year also. Defensive line, you said? Yeah. Uh, Carl Kemp has been playing really well, I think. Um, he's a freshman at Road Early, but he, uh, I think he has a chance to make, make a lot of things happen next year, and he's a good player. Does last year's bowl game performance, does that give you confidence knowing that whether it's this team or the coaching staff, that you know what to do to get ready for a game? Uh, yeah, I think it gives a conf confidence in the way we prepare. Um, we, uh, I mean, everybody approaches their bowl game differently, but we take it as another opportunity for a spring ball, which uh, a lot of guys don't like just because it's hard work. But um, we left last year with a 41-7 victory or whatever it was, and uh, so it gives everybody confidence, and Coach Harbaugh knows what he's doing, and what his goal is is to win every bowl game, and the way he set it up is puts us in the best opportunity to do that. Why, why is that important for the program, to get a win in this game? Um, I mean, it's important to get a win every game, but to get to 11, like I said, is, uh, is important. Just because it's uh, one more win than the last year, and also it's uh, um, just kind of a thing in college football. If you get to 11 wins, that's a really good season. Who are some of the young offensive tackles? Everybody's concerned because you guys are losing a pair that, uh, that you like. Um... Well, Nolan, Aluz Nolan Aluzio is doing really well. Um, Juwan Pochel Beatty, he's uh, not so much a young guy anymore, but he's doing really well. He has an opportunity to step in next year. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we're basically too deep at offensive line, so other than them, we're, uh, we're looking. Maybe we'll change the guys from inside to go outside or the freshman will step up. You never know. Last year during the bowl, it was all three you guys with our ball, and you had a lot to do. This year, well, it just showed up in the playoff, and now I'm going to the bowl. Is does it feel different? Is there a different because the loftiest goal was there, and now you have to, I don't know, refocus, re-energize for this? No, I don't, I don't think there's a feeling that we're settling for the Orange Bowl. Um, yeah, we would have liked to be in the playoffs, and that's our, was our goal. But um, things happened the way they did, and the Orange Bowl is still a really good game. And all that's not the playoffs, obviously, it's still a recognized game, and we get an opportunity to play against a really good ACC team. So I think everyone's excited for the challenge, and. I don't think there's an aspect of people feel like they're settling or anything like that. With, with the talk the last few days of, of players wanting to get ready for the NFL, just a few, as opposed in rendering maybe some bowl games in some people's minds less meaningful, what is your thought on that? Uh, I mean, my thought is that everyone's situation is different. Um, you know, it, it kind of depends on the bowl game you're in and 
where you're slotted to go in the draft or anything like that. But it's uh, everyone's situation is different. I can't judge on that. Right. What do you like about Nolan? He leaves you. Oh, uh, he's really athletic. He's he's physical. He plays fast. Um, I think he has a just overall good feel for playing tackle. So I think uh, coming to spring ball, he has a good opportunity to make some, make some things happen and be a good tackle. What have you heard about Grant and his injury? You expect him back next year, from what you've heard? Um, I mean, Grant's working hard rehabbing, and yeah. his injury is pretty severe. Um, I don't know his what his mindset is, but I think if he wants to play football again, he can. Thanks.